Okay, we're given the cost of cultivating crop A is $40 per acre, whereas the cost of cultivating crop B is $60 an acre. The farmer has a maximum of $7,200 available for land cultivation. So there we can make the equation. We'll call it 40x plus 60y cannot exceed 7200 then each acre of crop A requires 20 labor hours, so that's 20x, and each acre of crop B requires 25 labor hours, we'll call that 25y. The farmer has a maximum of 3300 labor hours, so it cannot exceed 3300. If she expects to make a profit of $150 an acre on crop A and $200 per acre on crop B, how many acres of each crop should she plant to maximize her profit? So this is the profit function. We're given these two constraints. And we want, we want to find x and y such that it maximizes the profit. So we're going to draw this. Now 40x plus 60y is less than or equal to 7200. So we want to graph this. Um, one thing we could do is divide everything by 20 to get 2x plus 3y is less than or equal to 360. So if I set x to equal to 0, y will be 120. And if I set y equal to 0, x is 180. So this will be the first one. And I'm only looking at the first quadrant because it doesn't make sense to have negative x or y. So I guess I should also say x and y should be greater than or equal to 0. And we're looking for 2x plus 3y is less than or equal to 360. We can plug in x and y equal to 0 and see that 0 is less than or equal to 360. So that means we want to include the origin, which is this, this way. Now for the second equation, we have 20x plus 25y is less than or equal to 3300. I can divide everything by 5 to get 4x plus 5y is less than or equal to 660. So if I let x equal to 0, y is going to be 165. And then if I let y equal to 0, sorry, if I let x equal to 0, y is 132. So we connect these two points. Okay, that's supposed to be a straight line. Try that again. And we can plug in 0, 0 for x, and we get that 0 is less than or equal to 660. So that means we want to include the origin. So really we're just looking at the intersection of both of these, which is going to be this region inside. And this is the intersection. So we can find out where the intersection is by doing a system of equations. We'll let 2x plus 3y equal 360 and 4x plus 5y equals 660. If I multiply the top equation by 2, I get 4x, then subtract at the bottom. So 4x minus 4x is 0. 2 times 3y is 6y, minus 5y is just y. 2 times 360 is 720, minus 660 is 60. So this is going to have a coordinate, a y coordinate of 60. I can plug it in to either equation, I'll plug in the first. If y is 60, 3 times 60 is 180. Subtract both sides by 180, we get 2x is 180, so x is 90. So now we can test these three points. We can test 0, 120, 90, 60, and 165, 0. So we're all going to plug it into the profit equation, that is 150x plus 200y. So if I plug in x equals 0, y equals 120, I end up with 24,000. If, if I let x be 90 and 60 be y, 
I end up with 25,500. And if I let x be equal 165, y equals 0, I end up with 24,750. So going back to the question, how many acres of each crop should she plant to maximize her profit? Well, 90 of crop A, so 90 acres of crop A and 60 acres of crop B. Because this is the biggest one out of the three. So this is our answer.